Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 on your MacBook Pro Retina display. And now for this you'll need... You'll also need a Windows 7 ISO. Those are built from a lot of websites like Newegg.com. I have the links in the description. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your Launchpad, Other, and open up Boot Camp Assistant. Now click Continue. And you're, want, you're going to want to check Create a Windows 7 in USB install disk, download the latest Windows support software from Apple, and install Windows 7. Click Continue. Now you're going to want to choose your ISO image, and I have that on my desktop right here. Click Open, and I'm going to choose the 8GB drive. Now click Continue, and Continue. And now just wait for it to format it and install Windows 7 onto the, your USB drive. Okay, now when all of that is finished, you'll be greeted with this screen. Alright, now you're going to partition your drive for Windows. Now the Windows operating system already requires 30GB, so make sure you know how much you want to dedicate to it. I'm just going to dedicate 60GB and click on Install. And now it's just going to partition and restart your computer. All right, now it's just rebooted and it's booting into Windows 7. And now, as you can see, it is starting Windows. All right, now you're going to do this screen. And as you can see, the resolution is all messed up, but that's just because you haven't installed the drivers. So once you do, it will all be normal. So now just select your language, time and currency, keyboard input, and click on Next. And click on Install Now. Now I'm just going to choose Windows 7 Ultimate. And click on next and accept the license terms click on next now click custom and you want to gonna click on disk zero partition for boot camp and click on drive options and format it click on OK now once it's formatted make sure it's selected and click on next and now this is just gonna install Windows and this might take a while so I'll get back to you when it's finished Okay, now that's done. That took about roughly eight minutes. And now we move on to the next step. Now just type username and click on next. Type password. I'm not gonna want one, so just click on next. And type your product key now. Use recommended settings. Set your time and click next. And now Windows is starting for the first time. It's just gonna reboot now. Alright, now it's started up and now it detected the USB drive. Click Open Folder to View Files. Click on Windows Support and Open Setup. Click Yes. And now basically what this is going to do is install all of the drivers so everything works properly. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Next. And Install. Now this is going to take Quite a while, it might take 30 minutes, so I'll be back when it's just finished. Alright, now that it's completed, you want to click on finish, and it will restart your computer. Alright, now it rebooted, and as you can see, everything is really tiny, so to fix that, all you gotta do is go into control panel, hardware and sound, and adjust screen resolution, and switch it down to around 1680 by 1050 click apply and keep the changes and you can just mess around with this until you like it. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you found it useful, make sure you comment, rate and subscribe. I'll see you later.